we're going to create columns in our SharePoint document library in order to replace the subfolders that we have on our file shares currently. So the first thing that you would need to do is go and have a look at each of the subfolders on your file shares and go and extract the commonalities and make a list of all the subfolders and the common documents inside of them so that you can put them into columns into SharePoint. We're going to click on our document library first. And in a default document library, there are four default columns of metadata tags for those document libraries. We're going to be creating our own. So we're going to click on library and click on create column. So these are the columns that are going to uniquely identify the information that is in the document library. Let's add a column for year and we're going to work with choice field. So we're going to have a choice between 2009 and you're going to choose whether you want this to be radio buttons or drop downs and right at the bottom the first thing that you type in your choice field is going to be duplicated at the bottom. You want to delete that because if you don't all the documents that you upload will be de defaulted to that value and you want people to actually choose their own values not default everything to the same one. We have our year column created now. Let's create another column. Department. When you're working with choice fields, try to th think what information can be reusable for other lists and libraries. So in that case, you might want to be, uh, consider using site columns or lookup fields, and then for the more advanced users, you can go for content types. Okay, we have our year and our department, and then one more for document type. Great, so now we have our three columns created. So now we're going to upload a single document so we can tag our document accordingly. So we've ticked each of our boxes. So the tags are now displayed. So metadata is information about information. So apart from seeing that this is a governance agenda, we know that it's a Word document. It was last modified to this date and time. It was last modified by me, but it's applicable to 2011 for the Ops Department under the Document Types agendas. So now if you want to upload many documents, you would click on Upload Multiple Documents. But when you upload multiple documents, the metadata won't automatically be completed. This is because there's too much information for SharePoint to process. So you have to first do a bulk upload and then you would do a bulk edit of the metadata tags of those documents. And you want to upload one subfolder at a time so that you don't get confused about where you're getting these documents from. Right, so we have our new documents created and you can see that all the tags are blank. So now we're going to click on library and we're going to click on edit in data sheet view. This isn't so that you can bulk edit these tags, but if you want to edit just one document, you can click on the drop down arrow by the document and click on edit properties. And then you can go and fill in the tags accordingly. Okay, so we have our next ones filled in. Let's go to data sheet view to fill in the rest. And when you're doing this for the first time, so when you're busy converting your file shares and, and uploading them all into SharePoint, don't make those fields compulsory fields yet. Do that last while you're still uploading all of your documentation because it'll drive you crazy. It won't let you go to the next row without you filling in the metadata tags horizontally first. You have to complete one row before it'll let you go to the next row. And if you've got 10 or 20 tags in this can get very irritating. So do your compulsory columns after you've uploaded all of your documents so that you can just maintain it going forward. You can click on the drop down arrows to fill them in. 
you can also copy and paste them like Excel or if you have unique letters like in our departments we have I's and H's and O's you can actually just type in those letters to fill the tags in and same with our document type. Right, when you've done completed that, you're going to click on st standard view. If you get a message that says you have pending changes, do you want to wait? Make sure that you say yes or all the tags that you've completed are going to be lost. All that's happened is that you've typed too fast for SharePoint to think and it's plain catch up. Right, so now we have our documents tagged with our relevant information. If you need to edit any of these columns to add in extra fields, for example, you would click on library settings and scroll down to the applicable column and go and add them. You can also delete them from here, change the views, change whether they're compulsory and click OK. So we've added another one for cheat sheet. So if I click on the drop down arrow next to one of my documents and edit it, I can add it as a cheat sheet now. And so now you have created columns in your document library with strong metadata in it. The next part of the process is to create views, so watch that video next.